Yo guys, what is going on? Got a very fun green control deck for you guys as a build focused on getting out uh, Chaos Mon, Hercules, Kabuterium Mon, bunch of very powerful level 6s and controlling the board with them, Lila Mon. And I like to call this deck Chaos Control uh, just because it's kind of a cool little control deck. You're basically suspending your opponent's Digimon a bunch and then running them over with things like Chaos Mon with a bunch of different boss monsters that are piercing and just controlling the game state to where you are always at the advantage with the number of Digimon you have on field. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for the Digi Eggs, I'm playing one copy of Tanemon. Tanemon is just a nice generic 1000 DP booster. Uh, basically the only condition you have to meet is that you have to Digivolve that turn, but you're pretty much doing that every single turn anyways. And the other generic DP booster I'm playing in this deck is four copies of Budmon. A lot of you might not even know what this card does because it doesn't really see that much play, uh, but basically it gives any Digimon with Digiburst plus 1000 DP. So I'm playing a lot of Digiburst Digimon uh, in this deck's specifically things like Lilamon, Hercules, Kabuterimon, so just getting an extra plus 1000 boost is always nice on your Digimon because you are pretty much always going for piercing, uh, so then there are times where you really want to make sure your stuff survives, and then maybe if you hit with a Hercules Kabuterimon, you want to go Chaosmon afterwards, uh, stuff like this, uh, these plus 1000 boosts will help you see that through, so then that is it for the Digi Eggs. And then for the level 3 count, I am playing 4 copies of Agumon. This is the green Agumon, the plus 1000 DP boost. Again, same logic with uh, the Digi Eggs. You're basically just trying to get your Digimon as big as possible, and this guy helps you do it. Puts Hercules at 13, puts Needhog at 14, puts Chaosmon at 15. So just very important thresholds uh, that you want to get over. And of course, to kind of help facilitate that same thing, playing 4 copies of Starter Deck Palmon. So the Palmon actually gives your Digimon a plus 2000 boost if you're attacking an opponent's Digimon uh, as opposed to just like the player themselves their security so a lot of times you are attacking their uh, you know Digimon and then you're getting piercing on those effects so that is really nice the plus 2000 that is actually kind of crazy and then if you pair it with one Digi-Eggs that's plus 3k so that can come in handy quite a bit um, and I did just want to have options because especially because you're digi bursting a lot of your effects away sometimes um, occasionally there might be times where maybe I have a Palmon uh, and some other effects that I don't really care about so then I want to keep that because it's a more powerful one uh, so just having the options is nice and then for the other level threes I'm playing three copies of the promo Palmon this Palmon uh, basically if she is discarded using Digiburst you get to give that Digimon jamming for the turn uh, only playing three in this build I don't think four is ex especially necessary because I'm not actually playing Grand Kuwagamon if you were playing Grand Kuwagamon and going for your opponent's security all the time uh, and trying to OTK them then yes jamming would be very important it is still important in this deck um, um, but I opted for other level threes especially because you guys are getting so big anyways. Um, the really cool thing part about this card, though, uh, is because if you, you know, Digivolve your Digimon, the jamming still carries over. So, for example, if you Digiburst from your Hercules Kabuterimon, swing into your opponent's Digimon, hit them with piercing, you won't die, and then if you go Chaosmon, on top of that, it'll still have jamming because it carries over for the turn. Another really cool thing is you can give Lilamon jamming uh, just by using her Digiburst, so that makes her an ultimate jammer, which is pretty sweet, uh, comparable to things like Pyodramon, maybe, or Beowulfmon, um, but just a very powerful card overall. And then for the other level threes, I'm just playing three copies of Goblimon for the two drop uh, level threes. Just a very cheap option uh, and works with the strategy of just trying to build up into your powerful Digimon uh, and then just punish your opponent with board presence. So that is it for the level threes. For the level 4s, I'm playing 4 copies of Kabuterimon. This is the blocker starter deck Kabuterimon. Finally have a 1 cost blocker, 1 cost evolution blocker for green, and it is super playable in basically every green deck. Um, I would recommend playing Woodmon if maybe you're scared of, uh, you know, DP reduction constantly, or maybe if you want to just have that extra 1000 boost uh, in certain situations. I think overall Kabuterimon is better than Woodmon in general scenarios. And then also playing 4 copies of Roachmon, again, to help facilitate uh, the just cheap evolution because he is a three play and a one cost champion. That is just absolutely crazy. He's a knockout on both stats. Of course, he is only 3000 DP, so you will have to be aware. Uh, if you're playing against yellow or something, they could just kill this with a war Growlmon, which feels pretty bad. Uh, so the DP is a problem, um, but of course, the stats may more than make up for that. Like three cost, one evolution is just absolutely ridiculous. So that's just absolutely fantastic. And then for the rest of the level four, 
Wars, playing two copies of Copy Turn you could play Gargomon as well. They basically do the same thing. Because you are spending so much time suspending your opponent's Digimon, uh, it's nice to just be able to get a bonus off of that. And then lastly, just one copy of Togemon. This is more of a little bit of tech. Uh, you could definitely just play three Kabu Terimons. I like Togemon uh, because I am playing other cards that help you search level sixes or higher, but I don't have any other cards that let you search a level five. So that is helpful sometimes uh, because believe it or not, this deck can actually brick. Uh, pretty much every deck has the capacity for bricking. Uh, so just one copy of Togemon. But that is it for the level fours. For the level 5s, I am playing 4 copies of Lylamon. Lylamon is an absolutely fantastic card. Like, she just does so much in this game. First of all, she has an amazing Digiburst effect where you get to trash 2 cards uh, and suspend any Digimon on your opponent's side. The field that is not level restricted or anything like that. Uh, and then not only that, but then her Inherited is actually really crazy too and people kind of be sleeping on it. I don't know, man. This Inherited is kind of crazy. It's uh basically, if you just have a Tamer on the field, you can suspend any Digimon. Digimon, like, uh, while when attacking. So you can just suspend something, Digivolve into a level 6, attack, suspend something else. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Lylamon is just so, so fantastic. The only real downside is if you don't have uh, the cards to build up into her, the 8 cost to play is pretty hefty, but, you know, at that point, you're probably losing it already. Uh, so then for the other level 5s, I'm playing two copies of Mega Kabuterimon. This is the starter deck one. Uh, this guy is really sweet because once per turn, when you delete an opponent's Digimon by battle, you get to try trash the top card of their security, which is just absolutely crazy. Being able to go into something like Hercules uh, or any of your other level 6s or maybe even a Chaos Mon and then delete an opponent's Digimon, hit him for piercing and trash the security card, um, which by the way, if you do have piercing on your Digimon and when you're attacking with this, this will actually go through first. So you'll actually always get to trash the card uh, before you check for piercing because you need to resolve every single effect, uh, you know, when attacking and deleting in battles and everything like that. Uh, so you'll basically check two cards. Uh, uh, one for free every single time you resolve uh, that combo so that is just really really sweet um you could definitely play four copies of this um i just opted to play two of the searcher lilymon instead this lilymon helps make the deck just a little bit more consistent uh because i do want to keep the control um you know i would want to keep the presence as much as possible i want to have as many cards in my hands as much as possible and then just be able to go for anything i so desires to counter my opponent's uh board so having the searcher lilymon uh, where basically you can reveal the top five cards of your deck and add a six or higher. So she actually does uh, indirectly search Chaos Mon as well because he's a level seven, he's a six or higher. So that is super, super sweet. Um, I really do like this lineup. I'm not actually playing the Digisorption package uh, because a lot of times you do want to kind of attack with your Digimon and I kind of prefer the Mega Kabuterimon effect. Like this effect's actually crazy and then Lilamon's definitely essential. Um, if you guys do feel like the Digisorption package is broken, which I mean it is, you can you could argue that these guys are not necessary. You could definitely swap these out for maybe like four copies of Blossom on or something like that. It's totally up to you, but this was uh, what I have been playing at Locals and this is what works for me. So that is it for the level fives. So then for the level sixes, I'm playing a very peculiar lineup. I'm playing, first of all, three copies of Titamon. Uh, this might seem weird, but of course this is a Chaos Mon kind of focused deck. So having a vanilla green level six is super, super helpful. If you do brick, he's only 10 play cost, which... I mean, 10 play costs is a lot, but it's only two more than Lilamon, right? So then 12,000 is just absolutely huge. And then if you pair that with stuff like Palmon and Kabu Terimon, you can sometimes beat over level sevens with this. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. And uh, this kind of, this the reason I'm playing this guy is kind of goes back to uh, BT1. And if, if any of you know the Digi Bros, they made a green deck profile. Uh, they called like Titamon Control, where basically the idea was to have like uh, two of these guys on field and then like you'd swing with one of them with like a Lilymon inherited to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and then swing over the Digimon you just suspended with the other one. So then you'd kind of just keep the control of the game, like like keep the flow of the game um, in your favor by just being able to attack anything they played onto the field. So that's kind of the idea with this. Um, and then if you pair that with something like Lylamon where you can just suspend any Digimon and then hit them over with Titamon is actually really, really powerful. So I think this card is overall just still very good. I would kind of want to fit in a fourth copy, but um, the space is tight because I'm all 
also running two copies of Hercules Kabuterimon. Now, this guy, this guy is absolutely crazy. I still think this is probably like the best green boss monster to date, uh, or at least one of my favorites. And he's super, super playable, even though Hidden Potential Discovered is only at one copy. The four cost, we're, we're making up for that in other ways. But anyways, he has two effects. So, of course, he has Piercing, first of all, and then he also has this Digiburst uh, 2 effect where you get to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. That's also not once per turn. Uh, so, if you do have four materials underneath them, you can suspend up to two Digimon. So, that's actually crazy. Not only that, but then he's also 12,000 with Piercing just absolutely ridiculous and then combo that with something like chaos mon and it is game over for your opponent and then to lastly round off our uh, level six counts playing two copies of need mon and one copy of puppet mon these guys are more of like text I, I don't know so so basically the idea here is of course you're always suspending stuff with um you know hercules kabuteri mon with lila mon with flower cannon so need mon is just a go-to like he's a staple in a lot of green decks i didn't want too many of him uh because of course it can confirm Conflict with Lilamon, your other Digi Bursters, uh, where you basically always need four materials for him, and that makes him kind of. And then also, he's also the, the you know the five cost. So I just basically the idea is I don't want to see this guy too much. And then of course you're also also playing Lilymon, so I didn't feel like I needed more than like two or three copies of any individual level six, even though like they're all very good. So that's kind of why I'm playing a spread because I have other ways to access them, and then you're always drawing in this deck because you can digivolve so easily. And and anyways, and then just one copy of puppet mon because uh um he's become much better now that chaos mon is in the game because now before you just play puppet mon buy yourself a turn and then okay he'd give you a memory that's that's great but now you can buy yourself a turn gain yourself a memory and then go into chaos mon attack again and then it's just absolutely ridiculous so i think puppet mon is still very playable so then that rounds off the level sixes and then for the level sevens um of course i've been alluding to it but just playing three copies of chaos mon so chaos mon uh no valder arm in here you could definitely play valder arm I think he is a very solid option, but with the goal of this deck being over, uh, being to run over your opponent's Digimon, uh, I opted for the regular Chaos Mon instead. I don't really need to say anything about him. He's just absolutely crazy boss monster, piercing, and can unsuspend attack unsuspended Digimon. Uh, so basically, you're you know gonna attack with your level six, hit him for piercing, go into him, unsuspend attack something else uh, for another piercing, and it's just absolutely crazy. So three copies of Chaos Mon is fantastic, and then for the option cards and tamers, I am playing two copies of Mimi Tashikawa. Uh, Mimi is very, very good because, of course, guaranteeing yourself to memory at the start of the turn is always really nice, but anytime you have a green level 5 or higher Digimon, you basically get to get another breeding phase in your turn, so it speeds up the deck so much, and you know, you have run into the problem in the past uh, if you've ever played a green deck with Mimi, that you can run out of Digix very quickly, so that is why I'm playing two copies of Yoshino Fujieda, uh, because you are able to recycle your Digix is a very, very cool effect. Not only that, but this also works well with Hercules Kabuterimon. Did you evolving one of your Digimon with Digiburst? You can reduce that cost by one just by suspending her. So the idea is to have Mimi and Yoshino on the field at the same time and then make Hercules a three cost, not having the pass turn and just go to town. And then lastly, just playing two option cards in this deck. Uh, you can probably guess what the first one is. It is Hidden Potential Discovered. This option card was a mistake. This is, I still believe, this is probably one of the most powerful cards ever printed in this game's history. I mean, that's not a very long history, but you guys know what I mean. A very, very powerful card here. Uh, uh, pretty much a staple in every green deck security effect added to your hand so you'll basically always resolve this uh, if you happen to you know draw into it but this card's absolutely ridiculous uh, just being able to cheat memory off uh, of your megas and your level sixes and stuff and then one copy of flower cannon uh, just because sometimes when you don't have Lilamon or maybe Hercules Kabuterimon or maybe you're out of uh, Digiburst materials uh, this can come in handy and then of course this is very very powerful uh, in security as well so that is it for the main deck so guys that is going to be the deck list let me know what you guys think do you think there are any ways I can make this deck better more consistent what do you think about Lilamon and Chaos Mon. I think Lilamon is an absolutely ridiculous monster. Uh, one of the best level 5 green Digimon in the game. And what do you guys think about Chaos Mon? Do you prefer the regular Chaos Mon um, or the Valder Arm? Let me know in the comments below. But if you did enjoy the profile, let me know as well. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. All that good stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.